Hello everyone, Lisa here. Welcome to What's Crafting Wednesday. I certainly missed everyone last week. I hope you missed me as well. Um, I apologize in advance. I'm not sure if I'm sideways tonight or the right way. My phone was not uh, flipping properly for me, so when I set it up, I'm not sure what way it's going. So hopefully I'm facing the right direction. Anyway, tonight we are going to use the Delicate Dahlias Celebration Stamp Set and make a simple monochromatic card. But first, what everybody's waiting for, I'm sure, is the drawing from last week's, or two weeks ago, Cute Nugget Slider Boxes. So, let's get on to the drawing. I have my tickets here. Let's get everybody's names in here. And my usual little shake. And then the mix. And let me pull out a ticket. Okay, and we have Amy. Well, congratulations, Amy. I have these here for you. Okay, everyone. Like I said, we're going to use the Delicate Dahlias stamp set tonight. This is a free set with celebration. It's a photopolymer stamp set. It is a two-step stamp set, if you wish. Uh, we're just going to be single stamping tonight. And in addition to the stamp set, we're going to use the Pattern Party DSP. This is a package of uh, host selection DSP from the annual catalog. And the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And the Black and White Baker's Twine from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And we have uh, some Wink of Stella we'll be using. So I hope you are watching, Wendy. It's just a simple card. I have stamped the flowers and then I have given them a little bit of Wink of Stella. I don't know if you could see it in the, on the camera, but it certainly is a very pretty shimmer in person. And then inside, I went sentiment free tonight with the stamp, with the card. Uh, so whoever gets these cards, you can use them for whatever occasion you would like. And of course, my envelope is stamped. Sorry about that, Carol. So let me get this put to the side and I will put the card over here. So I have a basic white envelope. Anything else in there? We'll put this off to the side for now. And I have basic black cardstock and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And I have two pieces of basic white and these are both cut at four by five and a quarter. We have one for the front and one for the inside. So I'll just put one over here, leave the other one to the side. And the DSP is cut at four, no, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then I just have these two little corners that I had cut for the inside. And the reason I did those was that was the little strip of DSP I had left over when I had cut this for the front of the card. And the black and white baker's twine. So I don't have my paper trimmer handy. Let me just get up and get that. So we will start by scoring the card base at four and a quarter. And then just fold on the score and use the bone folder so it gets a nice crease. And then I stamped the flowers first, and then I added the DSP. And 
very simple. I just used the uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I started by, I stamped off a little bit. And then I brought it down. And each time I turned the flower a little bit as I stamped. So you don't want them all going across in a row looking the same. And then I just added some additional flowers down here. And then these two here will just kind of peek up from the DSP. So that's easy peasy. And then I used Tombow to attach the DSP. Get it started here. So tell me, does anyone have this stamp set yet? Does anyone have this DSP? You get a lot of pieces uh, in this set of DSP. It's not like the regular DSP that is in our catalog. I think you get, uh, let's say 48 sheets. I'm not sure on that, I'd have to check, but I think it's 48. And now we're just going to take the Wink of Stella and I just went around on the little dots in the center of the flowers and then I just ran it down the line in the middle of the petals. I didn't go all around the outside of the petals. I just went in the inside of it. And just a little dot. Just gives that that little bit of shimmer and it makes it look so pretty and so elegant. So, has anybody been stamping in the last week? I did miss you while I was away last week. So, if you have been stamping, leave me a comment. Let me know what it is that you have been working on. I'd love to know what you've been making. And you know, you can always send me the pictures and share what you stamp. I just wish you could see in real how this just brings the flowers to life. Just gives it that beautiful little bit of shimmer. It's really eye-catching. And anyone who has not had Wink of Stella or hasn't tried it yet, I say definitely you need to get one. It's amazing the change that this can make with, with any project that you're working on. And as it's alcohol based, it dries instantly. You don't have to wait for any anything to dry so that it doesn't smear. So it's a good investment. It's fun and it adds so much to your, your projects. Now with the baker's twine, I took and I twisted it just so that the two colors would and just twirl together like that. And I wrapped it around from the back. And then I just tied it in a knot. Nothing fancy. Let's see if I can make my knot without uh, letting it slip here. And somehow I see I got ink on my finger. I don't want it to get on the card. Does anybody ever just use the baker's twine and knot it like this rather than making a bow? Very simple. And whenever I do use the ribbon, I know you know that, but whenever I do use ribbon or baker's twine on a card, I always use the tear and tape on the back uh, just because I like it to, to hold it in place. So it looks a little crooked. Let me raise that side a little bit. Okay. So it just holds it so it doesn't move around. 
and I'll peel these off and then I'm going to add some Tombow and adhere it to the card base. So this is a fun stamp set. I mean, everybody has been focusing on the large dahlias in the set, but I think these small flowers are fun to play with as well. You can stamp them just like I did. You could use the two-step. You could watercolor them, color them with blends. I'm just going to put this right on the front of the card here. And I'm going to trim the tails a little bit. And then if you take your scissors, you can you can curl the baker's twine. It doesn't get a real a real curl, but it, you get a little bit of um like a wave, like if you took your hair out of a braid. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my other scissors without my little trinket on it. You just take the, the end of the blade and your thumb on the other side and just pull. You just get like a little, just a little, little wave to it. And now we will do the inside of the card. With this here, I stamped just the three flowers coming down and going up, and then I added the little the little corners to it. Well, nothing fancy, very quick, easy, a simple card to make. You could do this in any color, really. Any DSP. And there went my stamp flying out of my hand. Now on the other side, we're going to start it from the bottom and work our way up. And if you didn't want to add the little DSP corners, you could just stamp four flowers going up and down rather than the three like I did. And I'll just put some Tombow here on the corners. And I see it got a little too much, so let me just take some of that glue off before I have a mess. And just line it up. And then we'll have that one coming down. Just make sure I have it lined up with the top and then we'll add some Wink of Stella to these flowers and again just some little dots and the lines in the center of the flowers and those of you that use Wink of Stella you, you just know what this adds to it it's just amazing that something so quick and easy can make such a difference in your card. So who has used Wink of Stella this week? I know I pull it out quite often and I use it. So give me a big shout out if you've made something this week with Wink of Stella. And I so wish that you could see that beautiful shimmer. And I just add this on the inside now. And at first, when I was doing this card, I first was going to do it in um, a color. 
And then I thought, no, the black and white is just so striking and so elegant looking. So I hope you feel the same way about it. And the envelope, very simple. I just stamped the three flowers in the corner. And then, of course, I added some Wink of Stella to them. So let's see this time if I can do it without the stamp flying out of my hand. I started in the bottom corner, a little bit off the envelope. And then again, I just turned the stamp as I went and did the other two flowers. And then just some Wink of Stella again. And it really is very fast to apply this as well. Okay. Easy peasy. We have two very quick and pretty cards here. My original card for tonight. And then the sample that we just made. So everyone, oh, I had wanted to let you know how many sheets was in this package of DSP. Uh, yes, it is 48. So it's a nice big package. And um, they're different colors on the one side and the patterns on the other are all in black and white. And the Delicate Dahlias, this here is the free, one of the free Celebration stamp sets. And I can't believe it, Celebration is going to be over in two weeks. This sure flew by fast. Okay, everyone. Well, you know the drill. Leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. And um, I'll be back next week, 7 o'clock. And I'm thinking maybe next week we'll have a craft along again. I uh, will let you know if we will. And, of course, we'll have the drawing for these two cards next week. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. You have a very crafty week, and I will see you back here next week. Thanks. Bye, everyone.